Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here. Just come from outside. It's one of those cold days in Minnesota. It's spring, but it's still snowing outside. Man, oh man, oh man. When well, we'll get a chance to just enjoy the springtime. You know when the grass is green and the wind, the grass is green and the wind is blowing and everything's copacetic. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you. Uh, as spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I want to talk to you about those basic essentials for human beings to stay alive. They are essential for your survival. I'd like to talk with you about them for a moment. But first, let me ask you something. Do you remember the first time you told your first lie? I mean, for some of you, you got to go way back. But for some strange reason, most people can't remember when they told their first lie. Think about it for a second. If you were uh, from a poor family, your first lie, you know, because for some strange reason, when you grow up, your parents always tell you to tell the truth. Tell the truth. They say, don't lie. And for some strange reason, if you're in a poor family, uh, economic situation, it's like your first lie comes around when maybe a creditor is knocking on the door trying to collect on a bill or a debt or something or on a telephone call and somebody asking to speak with uh, someone because of a debt and you had to tell a lie to uh, protect uh, whatever your parent wants you to protect. And you kind of felt a little bit bad about that, but you did it. And you see that sometimes a lie is necessary. But on the other hand, if you came from maybe a family that uh, had access, then chances are you had abused the situation and what you were trying to do was to hide something that you didn't want known. And so when you were given the opportunity to uh, tell the truth or uh, lie about something and you really didn't want to lie because you've been taught as well that don't lie but you're thinking about the situation you give it some deep thought and for some strange reason you come out on the other end and you decide to just tell a lie and that lie seemed to work for you you know how excited you become because wow the power of a lie and that getting over, whether it's because you got access or whether you come from a poor family in a different situation where that lie worked for you, it seems to follow you throughout your life. Straight throughout your life, that lie seems to follow you where you would always have some escape. But it appears as though that you shouldn't have to lie. Adults mature people, people who are well aware and satisfied, they shouldn't have to lie to anybody. I mean, why should a man have to lie to another man or an individual have to lie to another individual or a parent to a child or a child to a parent? I mean, why should you have to lie about anything? Well, this is the question that kind of crossed my mind. When you think about those things that are basically essential for survival, like food, clothing, and shelter, housing, education, you know what education is about, and health care, these things are essential. All of those things like transportation, infrastructure, all these things are just making it easier. But uh, these others are essential. So, you know, just being a human being, you cannot live with, with and do anything prospering without these others. So you should ask yourself, for any of these things, why should anybody have to lie for any of these essentials? Why should anybody have to steal for any of these essentials? Why should anybody have to commit any of these evils just to ascertain what has been made freely for you. 
because all of the resources that are necessary are free. All of the benefits that come from it are the results of individuals putting their hands to the plow, working and making them come true. They, the, the, the deception comes when you're not working for yourself, but you give your power to somebody else and you're working for someone else who gives you a measure of benefits for working for them. That's slave. That's why everybody working for other people are slaves. There's nothing wrong with working. There's nothing being in your career. There's nothing wrong with it at all. The problem is when you're not doing it for yourselves and for one another, when you're doing it for somebody else who's paying you to do it, you're a slave. I want to talk a little bit more, but I just got a call from my wife, and I might be kind of serious, so I'm going to cut this short. I'll probably come back a little later and continue, but right now I'm going to pause, okay?